everybody welcome back to another video today we are back here with the quebec nordiques as uh we're in the third round we're in the conference finals against the new york islanders as this is going to be an absolutely insane uh, series as the new york islanders are finally actually getting lucky and they have made it back to the conference finals and could possibly make it to the stanley cup finals but this could also be the first time, I think, ever for the Quebec Nordiques that they can make it to the Stanley Cup Final, as uh, I don't think they never have, but it could be the very first time, it could be the second time, who knows. I think this could be the very first time that ever the Quebec Nordiques are going to be making it to the Stanley Cup Final, so this is very exciting. But we're going to go through a very tough team in the New York Islanders. This is our first line. is Josh Ho saying, John Tavares, and Jordan Everly. Very tough first line. Second line, Michael Dacall. Matthew Barzell, Neil Niederreiter. A very good second line. They picked back up Neil Niederreiter, which they drafted him in 2010, traded him to Minnesota, and they picked him back up. Prince Bellevue uh, and Cal Colorbrook, and then fourth line. So, very deep, but they're not very deep like us on the third line, and like fourth line's not as good as us. Uh, defensively, now, I would have to say we're even better th than them on the defensive side and also goaltending. So, we dominate them on the defensive and also on the um, goaltending side of things a little bit on the offensive but I think what we need to do what we've been doing against every single other team as you guys can see uh, I'm going to show you guys here against uh, both the Boston Bruins we played that really good defensive game one goal one goal or three goal against one goal against zero two and zero like we've been able to play that good defensive game one again or four against one against two against one against and one against so if we if we could play that defensive game, I think we can win this series easily against the New York Islanders. We got to shut them down in Corpus Allo. You got to play your best fucking hockey against the New York Islanders because we're facing John Tavares. He's going to be a very tough man to face. So let's jump in. First game of the series against the New York Islanders. First period. Yeah, see what I mean, Bulaveller and John Tavares. They're going to be very tough on us, boys. Come on, let's rebound in the second period. Let's go. Five then nothing. Da call Gravelvik and Da call. Wow, this is an absolute whooping by the New York Islanders. Power play. Can we at least get like one goal on Thomas Grice? They have no defense and they're whooping our asses. Five then nothing. Nothing, boys. Come on, guys. We need to stop giving them power plays too. My lord, that was a bad first game. That's our worst game ever. In the playoffs. Like, we lost some games, but that's our worst one that we lost yet. We've scored a goal in the games that we've lost, but that was a bad one. Five to nothing lost against the Islanders. All right, boys, we need to bounce back. Come on, guys. We know we always lose the first game of the playoff series, but now let's bounce back here in game two. Let's go. First period, two to one. Everly, Duck Hall, and Tom Wilson. Second period. There you go. Connor Brown and Andrus Lee against his old team. Andrus Lee. Third period. 3-2 to two lead for the Quebec Nordiques. Come on, boys. Just keep that lead together. 14 minutes. We are They are dominating us in the shots category as it's still a 3-2 to two game for the Quebec Nordiques. Six minutes left. It's a very tight game between the two teams and the Quebec Nordiques are just able to squeeze through Pulak with the empty netter. There we go. There we go, boys. See? We're always able to bounce back. 4-2 to two win against the uh, Islanders. A very tough first period, but we bounce back with Lee and Brown. That's the way that I want it. Let's go. Let's go into Islanders. A very crappy Barkley center as the fans won't be able to see jack shit. Come on, guys. Let's go. First period. 2 to nothing. Brodine and Brassard. There you go, guys. Well, I haven't seen very much of Johansson. Can I see a little bit of Johansson? We see a little bit of Palm and P. That's good. That's good. Excuse me. Let's jump into the third period here, boys. Come on. Finish up this game. 3 to nothing. We are dominating them in shots. Well, not until now. They're bouncing back in shots. Power play for the Quebec Nordiques and Andrew Cogliano. I think that's his first point with the Quebec Nordiques. Uh, in the playoffs, so that's good for him as that third line finally needs to start hitting it up. Five minutes left here in the third period, four to nothing for the Quebec Nordiques, and we're able to shut down the New York Islanders once again. Like, look at this, guys. Like, this is amazing how the Quebec Nordiques are putting one of the best teams, the New York Islanders, against the wall. Two to one in the series, we could make it three to one. So, come on, boys, 
Let's put the New York Islanders up against the wall. Let's do our best here in this game. Let's whoop some fucking ass. Let's go. First period. Two no. Oh, I thought that was two nothing. Burakowski and Tavares. Come on, boys. Second period. Nothing. One one. The Islanders are dominating us in shots. But they all oh, now we're starting to fight back. Power play. There you go. Andrew Slee gets the lead for the Quebec Nordiques. I'm running out of breath. And Miros get nine and baby. There you go. Playing on the top pairing gets a big goal for the Quebec Nordiques. Right in that corner, that's a weak corner. And also Andre Burakowski and all these goals are practically from the point, but for Lees, but that's almost near the point. Oh, and then Neil Niederreiter yeah, made it close, but it's not going to be able, they're not going to be able to make a comeback with like a minute left in the game. There you go, boys. Three to one. This is what we mean. This is, this is what it, oh my God, man. I can't even speak. This is like, I can't. Believe Burakovsky's leading us in points right now. Johansson hasn't even done anything in the third round, and the depth is coming in to this game. Like the first line between Panarin, uh, Johansson, and Palm and P, they've been shut down th during this entire series, but everyone else is stepping in. You have Andrus Lee kicking his old team in the ass, you have Brad Sard hitting up, you have Mira Huskin 90 and scoring goals. It, this is a team effort, and this team is playing like a goddamn team. We have the depth that's good. Like, this team is absolutely fantastic as we're going to take this. Can we finish it off in five games like we've done every single series? Come on, boys. First period, 3-1 to one as Tavares, yeah. And Ryan Johansson finally gets a goal, but Tavares gets two. Come on, boys. Second period, 4-3. to three. Johansson and Palmer P makes it close and Bouveller. We have a chance to tie up the game, but we're being absolutely dominated in the shots category. Well, this, this game... The New York Islanders deserve it. 12 shots coming into the third period. Pulak makes it close, though. The Quebec Nordiques are trying to fight back, but Louis Erickson kind of buries it for the Quebec Nordiques. No, Andrus Lee gets another goal for the Quebec Nordiques. Man, this is a goal-scoring fest. Can the Nordiques get one last goal? No, they will not. The New York, oh, New York Islanders. The squeeze past the Quebec Nordiques with a 6-5 win. See? When the New York Islanders are able to score goals, they're able to score some goals. So, boys, you got to play that defensive game. Like I've told you guys, like we've been doing this entire series, just ignore the first and the fifth game, and let's put this series away, this series away tonight. Come on, guys. First period, nothing. Second period. Jesus Christ, guys, come on. Like, you just let three goals instantly in in the second period. That is retarded, guys. Come on. Are we really going to let it go to a game seven against the New York Islanders? Oh, lordy, 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 we are. The New York Islanders are making a miraculous comeback against the Nordiques. This is not good. All right, we got to make some line changes here now. Like, game seven, this is an important time. We're not winning games. Like, Johansson, like, only two points in the past few games that he's played. Actually, three, because he had 13, I'm pretty sure, right at the start of the video. So, like, what do we do? Like, the team has been so great. What line is, like, really, who's Denault, Brown, and Cogliano? That's a line that has not been producing for us at all. They have just not been able to hit it up. And I feel like we need some goal scoring power. I really do feel like we, we could use some goal scoring power, eh? Do you guys feel like what I'm cooking? The, the good old Alex DeBranca, who could score goals for us. Can't play that defensive game, but we need that goal-scoring power. I th really do believe that. So we take out Tom Wilson. We replace him with DeBranca. You throw him in the lineup. You throw him in the second line. DeBranca, buddy. I want you to fucking win this game. I want you to score some goals, buddy. Earn your spot on the main roster. All right? This is our chance. This is the Nordiques chance to prove everyone that we are not an underdog team. That we can whoop the best team and kick them down on the streets. Let's give them a run for their money. Come on, boys. First period, one nothing. Matthew Barzell, come on, guys. Second period, Andre Burakowski, DeBranket, Johansson, somebody. Get this big goal. Burakowski, baby, gets a leading goal. There you go, boys. I, I just spit all over my filter. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and then Kyle Clutterbuck ties back up the game. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, and then Everly gets another goal that puts a thorn in the Quebec Nordiques and are on the power play. No goal, but no cigars. It looks like the Quebec Nordiques will fall to the New York Islanders. No! Ryan Johansson! Oh my god! No way! Oh my god! Ryan Johansson with 54 seconds left ties up the game in overtime and gives the Quebec Nordiques a chance. Just a sliver of chance of life. Boys, we are going to watch this game like I can't even speak. Like 2BC Superman does. Let's jump into this. I am so excited. Come on. The Nordiques have a chance. Let's jump right into this. Alright, here we are. As I think I'm playing and I can't be playing. So just hang on. Select slides. No, we need to do that. And also, I need to change the camera angle so it's nice and broadcast view for you guys. Let's do this. Come on, boys. Overtime. Ryan Johansson, you are beauty. Can you do it again? To prank it. Somebody score a goal for the Quebec Nordiques here in Quebec, the Pepsi Center. Come on, boys. Face off win for Ryan Johansson. As Mira Huskinina and Johansson passing it back and forth over to Palm and P as he gets pushed off the puck. Now Nick Letty pass over to Jordan Everly. He's he got the big goal there for the New York Islanders. John Tavares carrying it up. Windmill blocked off the puck. Back over to Palm and P. What a pickup he's been for the Quebec Nordiques. Carrying it up. Looking. Oh, and I was poked away by Everly. He gets it back. Palm and P. Over. Takes a shot. Good save for Thomas Grice. Johansson now has it. Looking. Passed up to the point that Ryan Ellis over to Mira Huskinainen. Back over to Ellis. Over to Mayor Huskinainen. Ellis. Over to Palmer P. Great chance. Wide open net. Oh, and that was blocked out. But Mayor Huskinainen keeps it in as the New York Islanders are t dead tired out there. Palmer P. Pass down to Pinarn. Over to Johansson. Takes a shot, but that was blocked as now Tavares has it. Over to Palmer P. Come on, boys. Spurgeon. Brodin. Back over to Spurgeon. Down to Johansson. Back over to Spurgeon. Brodin has it. Pinarn. Palmer P. Locking. But he passes it back up to the point. This is great passing. Great domination by the Quebec Nordiques. This is a, just a great game for them right now. Panarin up to the point of Brodine. Down to Johansson. Over to Brodine again. Look at the passing, man. This is tic-tac-toe. They're not missing a pass. Oh, that was finally picked off. But Johansson gets it back. Look at this. Palm and P. Great chance. But that was picked off. Oh, and a costly penalty. For Palm and P, what are you doing, man? Ah! Oh! As he takes a slashing call. Look at this. It hacks Jordan Everly in the arms. Palm and P, you cannot take a penalty like that, man. That is costly for the team. Cogliano and Brown are out there. Come on, guys. You need to kill this off for me. Please be beauties. Letty, new rider. Oh, good poke check there. It's Barzell. Over to Brock Nelson. Great block there. Great defensive play. And Brown. That was almost a delay of game, but Brown is able to dump it all the way down the ice. As Nick Letty springs a pass all the way over to Nelson there. As Nelson carrying it in. As he's looking over to Schroman. Back down the Barzell. Over to Schroman. Passing back and forth. Looking for something. Oh, and tried to set up. I don't know who that was. I think that was Bouvella or whatever. As they dump it down the ice once again. A minute and 25 left on the power play for the New York Islanders. Come on, guys. You got to kill this off for me. Now, Nina, Nina Ryder has it. Pass over to Barzell. Great chance. Great save. Oh, and it goes in the back of the net. No. And Matthew Barzell gets the game-winning goal for the New York Islanders as the Quebec Nordiques. Man. Just give this team a round of applause. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a playoffs. Like, I can't even be pissed off about this. Like, I'm I'm, I'm pissed off that we lost this game against the New York Islanders. And we, we were up in the series 3-1 to one and we let it go. But when you have a young team like this and the Quebec Nordiques went to the conference finals, without a doubt... This proves the haters, everybody that the Quebec Nordiques are here to say, stay. And here to make a point, like we were like uh, just a weird fluky goal that went in the back of the net. And we, we, we played good, but Palm and P, man, you had a great year, but that was the most costly penalty you can ever fucking take. Ever. Like the worst penalty you've ever taken in your life was right there and you cost the team a game. You're, you're out of here, buddy. Just saying.
DeBrankin, I threw him up in the lineup, didn't really do anything for us. But, like, you got to give this team a round of applause. A young team formed by, like, this year. Everyone was new to each other. Johansson didn't know Panarin or Palm and P, but they played fantastic with each other, which is awesome. Burakovsky, like, we're keeping him now. Like, what a playoffs he had. Like, a, a decent regular season. Didn't, it wasn't his best, but look how good he did for the playoffs. Great play. Oh, Jesus. Great playoff performer. Palm and P took the worst penalty he could possibly take. But uh, what a year. What a year for the Quebec Nordiques. We proved that we're deserving of next year of winning that cup next year. We have a real chance of doing that next year. I'm real happy about that, but let's the New York Islanders. We've lost to one of the best teams in the league, the New York Islanders. So congratulations to the New York Islanders. Let's quickly take a look at the awards, and then we'll go on from there. New York Islanders, your Stanley Cup champions, President's Trophy to Pittsburgh Penguins, Clarence, uh, of course, Vancouver, Art Ross Crosby, Art Crosby Memorial, Riley, Tarasenko, Lady Bing, Andy Milson for Calder. Tom Grice gets the Conn Smythe. He deserves it. He played fantastic against the Quebec Nordiques in those last couple of games. Vesna, J uh, Steve Mason, William Jennings for the second year in a row. Matt Murray, Jamie Alexiak, Bill Masterston, Frank J. Sauk, goes to Cindy Kidd. Tim Lindsay also in Tarasenko gets the Maurice Rocket Richard. So thank you guys for watching. This one was a little bit longer, but thank you guys for watching. Like seriously, this was... The best, the, this is the most fun I've ever had playing a GMO with the Quebec Nordiques. What a storyline it's been. As uh, year number four will be coming in next videos. We got a big draft coming. We got to figure out what we're going to be doing next year with the team. I think someone deserves to take that captaincy next year. So we're going to also decide on that. So I'd like to hear you guys' comments on who should be the ca uh, the captain of the team. Should it be Johansson? Should it be Pinard? Brodeen? Burakowski? Even with how big of a playoffs he had. Comment down below. And uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.